What's happening guys? So it is a couple of days out before we fly to World's Strongest Man and we thought we'd just do a little interview just giving you a little bit of an insight into how we're feeling. In your honest opinion, how do you think the prep for Worlds went this year? 2023 World's Strongest Man prep is a bit different this year than the last two years. Obviously, as you know, we had Arnold's and it was a quick turnaround to Worlds. Five weeks is not a lot uh, to get yourself prepped for. After Arnold's has gone extremely well, um, I genuinely feel the strongest I've felt going into a world's strongest man. Um, statically my lifts are all up, conditioning wise I feel so much better now and and the way I'm looking, you know, I can tell I've, I've worked hard, my physique is a lot better than I was at Arnold's so yeah I'm feeling very confident going into world's strongest man 2023 um, and that's a, that's a very nice place for me to be at. It's been perfect for myself, better than I ever thought. You know, we added two event sessions in a week. I hit all my numbers. Mentally, I felt good. Physically, felt good in every single lift. I never felt good in every lift. Usually, I feel good in maybe 90% of the things. Or, and there's maybe one or two lifts that I'm like, right, I'm just going to go out towards and do enough. But this year, I think I've covered all bases. I left no stone and returned. So, yeah, feel unbelievable. Feel great. I just want to go to Myrtle Beach and kick some booty. Compared to any other year, how confident are you mm -hmm. this year going into 2023 World mm. Strongest Man? I'm so confident that I'm going to win World Strongest Man and I'm going to be the free time champion. You heard it here first. <laughs> you know, I know going into World Strongest Man, World Strongest Man this year, we both look 100%. Tom looks like the World Strongest Man that he is. I feel like Europe's Strongest Man. Um, and I feel like I've got a real point to prove. Making the finals is always so epic. You know, it's such a an amazing feeling, I've done it three times now. And yeah, I feel I got a, a big point to prove, not just to people watching this, but to myself as well, that I'm still able, um, and bo my body's still willing to put in a good shift at Worlds, and yeah, I'm super excited for it. What's your prediction or expectation for yourself? For me, it's just about being 100% you know, competitive in every event I do. Um, so for me, again, I just ask for progression for myself, so finishing in the top five at World's Strongest Man, would be amazing. My my ego comes in and says, you know, I want to get podium as well. Um, Tom will be standing on number one, and if I can stand on number two and number three, that would be amazing. Um, and that's my expectations of myself. You know, it's not just about me. We're, we're a team. We are very much a team, Tom and I, and the, the teamwork that both Tom and I have shown along this training prep, I think it was my role to instigate the new style of training, you know, kind of lead by example, be that older brother and showcase to Tom, this is what we've got to do to, to be getting you that number three title. So that's my role in this prep. And then after, you know, I kind of started doing that, Tom just, Tom just kind of went up and above, you know, he's on a different planet. Um, and, you know, Tom's one of the the gra most gracious people that you'll meet as well. And I think that's a sign of a true champion, is being humble, being gracious, being, being a real nice person, you know. Um, and that, that's, the, that's why I'm so proud of what Tom's achieved. You know, he's done it. You meet Tom, he's just a big goofball. He just likes to have fun. He just likes to, you know, enjoy himself. And World's Strongest Man is the biggest title for Tom and for myself. You know, it's and it's it's the it's the title that'll stay with us for the rest of our lives. And um, yeah, the the training has been really good this year, and I'm really excited to get out there. You know, after Arnold's, I kind of sat down and I was like, right, you know, I've got Dan as a coach, I've got Nathan as a nutritionist, and I work with other people as well. But I need to believe in myself before these guys can actually work, and that's what I started doing at Worlds Prep. You know, for example, you know, the weaknesses of mine were dumbbell press. Um, I've never even been able to do like over 105 kilograms in the gym and religiously every single week I've been hitting 120, 125, 130s and for me that's just, it's not about, you know, obviously Dan helps in a lot of the programming and stuff but it's also about me believing in myself and I added maybe one or two exercises in that I knew would really help me and I just had to then, you know, not go and say like, this is how you lift a dumbbell. I just had to go to the dumbbell, pick it up and lift it. Like I do with the Atlas Stones, like I did with the deadlift, like I do with every single lift I do. And that's my mindset to much this year was just to believe in myself, go in and the only person that's gonna be beat me is death. If I'm not dead, 
the, tro the trophy comes on with me. And that's kind of how I've been doing it in the gym as well, because obviously, you know, putting a suit back on or, you know, doing things when you can't really be bored training, I just have to think to myself that this is going to be a minute of hell, but I know that I'm not going to die, so I'm just going to keep on going. And I'm going to be so uncomfortable, but I know that, you know, if I do this and if I have this mindset of the only person that's going to beat me is death, that I'm not going to be scared of anything or anyone, and that's kind of how I've done it. You know, it's I've told Sinead that she's really scared about it because she hates you know, a lot of you know, obviously family members that don't like you talking about that. But for me, it's the thing that gets me motivated. Last year it was, you know, Sinead and my family are under each event. I need to pick it up, but this year it's just like, kill me or the trophy's mine. Honestly and truthfully, how bad do you want it? Yeah, I think I'm one of the most emotional people out there. You know, when it comes to talking about how badly I want to to be world's strongest man, how badly I want to make the final, how, you know, how much this has changed my life. Because um, I, I truly believe I'm one of the only guys out there that's, you know, I had a career for 17 years working in the oil and gas industry. I know I've talked about it so many times, but for me to have a career working away from home, working in oil rigs, training in gyms where they didn't have weights, where I couldn't deadlift, where I couldn't push press, where I couldn't, do anything close to strongman events. You know, I know what the other side is like, and yeah, I want to be successful. I want to win these shows. I want to go back to Giants Live. I want to smash Britain's Strongest Man, Europe's Strongest Man, World Tour Final, Deadlift Champ. You know, I want to be in these shows. Um, so we've had to take some time off, um, and we owe that to ourselves. And But now I'm, I'm hungrier than ever. You know, I... I I love how my body's feeling. I love how much pain I'm in at the moment. You know, I know it's been a good prep. My my body is fully broken. And now this week is all about repair, recovery. I'm starting to kind of come alive again, starting to feel really powerful. My mindset feels feels really good. Um, so I've got a couple more swims to do, a couple more deload sessions to do, and then we fly out um, and do battle with the best guys in the world. So... Yeah, for me, it's there's nothing I want more in the world than to win these shows, to be world's strongest man. Um, and there's nothing more than I want than to see Tom winning the third title and becoming the best strong man um, I think that we've seen in the last 20 years or so. If I don't, you know, I don't just listen to people, other people's YouTubes. I don't watch other athletes. It's me versus me, like I said there. You know, it's me versus death. It doesn't care about any other. 50 athletes, 40 athletes, 30 athletes, I don't care anyone's, you know, saying I'm not going to win, saying this, saying that, you know, at the end of the day, Arnold's, I started the year off with Arnold's, which was my best Arnold's performance to date, I hit two massive PBs in that, and I did that out of shape, and I knew that I had to get into shape quickly, and you know, that's what I said, you did, you know, I honestly thought that if I come to the end of the five weeks before I leave for World Shores Band, 100% I'm mentally 100% no one's going to beat me and that's what I've done you know I've literally had the best training cycle like I said mentally I've had the best mental cycle just everything feels good and like I said the only thing that's going to stop me from winning is death and I'm willing to die so that and I don't think anybody any other athlete is willing to die the thing is you'll miss me my wife will miss me everyone will miss me you have to get a big coffin but I'm ready for it so let's bring it on before you fly out any final words for everyone and your fans I mean obviously you know we're, we're nothing without the fans and you know, I'm, I just try and you know, improve every single year and work as hard as I can and be the best version of myself. You know, I try to inspire people. You know, I'm going out to World Strongest Man this year. I'm doing a big kind of talk with people, people on the spectrum, with people with additional needs on the Sunday when I get out there. And the you know, World Strongest Man as well has really kind of helped that these kind of people that are classed as you know disabled come and enjoy this show. I get to go on Sunday and see all these amazing kids with. You know, additional needs that are wanting to come and see me and do a talk to them. So that's going to be, I think that's going to help light the fire in my belly for Wednesday. Because, you know, talking about autism, talking about how uh, these this is superpower and stuff really gets me fired up. So, yeah, I've got, I'm ready and I'm, like I said, just massive thank you to everybody that supports us, everyone back home in Scotland, everybody in the islands. And again, I see it a lot of the time. It doesn't ever get lost in us the, the support that you guys show show both Tom, myself and the whole team that surrounds us. You know, it's not just it's not just about having a good coach, it's not just having a, a good physio. 
nutritionist, well, it's, it's the full team um, and the team that surrounds both Tom and myself are, are truly exceptional um, and the support that you show, you know, wearing our t-shirts, um, during that at the Stolten Strength Academy, coming up here to see us up in Invergordon, popping into the shop to say hello to us. You know, we'd love to be able to see each and every one of you every time you come to visit and apologies if we can't make you know, spend, spend all that time with you guys, but we do try, we do really appreciate everything that you guys do for us because, you know, you, you stand by us through the good times and the bad times and, you know, there's probably been, you know, throughout our, our career, you know, there's been a lot of bad performances, a lot of um, not high placings in, in the shows that we've done and still you guys support us and, you know, that to me is... Um, is, you know, is a legacy in itself, you know, so thank you so much. We're going out there, we, we're inspired by you guys, we're there to to showcase what strength really is, and that's why it means so much to us. So thank you from the bottom of this big old moist heart. Yeah, I'm ready to uh, go kick some... Bleep it, kick some beep. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. Kick some beat. Kick some beat. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the walk press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stone. Right guys, today's tutorial is 